Today's topic for the blog is pre-settlement funding or lawsuit funding. There's no shortage of companies that offer this service, and I've seen them increasingly used in recent years. What happens is having a lawsuit can be a time-consuming and stressful and money-sapping process. As a result, groups and businesses have formed with the idea of advancing money to people with lawsuits and then getting that money back plus interest, and that's the big part of today's discussion, plus interest upon the successful completion of the lawsuit. The funding companies will tell you all the right things, that an accident is not your fault and you're probably struggling to pay your bills, and if you settle your case soon, you're concerned that you may not get full value on the case. I don't disagree with any of those three statements. It is a time-consuming process. You may settle for or undersettle your case if you have to settle soon, and you no doubt are struggling uh, to pay your bills through no fault of your own. But we've often heard the expression, there's no such thing as a free lunch. And where these companies are concerned, nothing could be more true. There is no such thing as a free lunch. If you go on their websites, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to disparage a whole industry, but I think anybody who is contemplating such a, uh, a contractual relationship with a funding company should be fully aware of what's in store. So if you go on those websites, you'll hear pretty much what I've said. What you won't hear and what you won't see are the very extreme, very prohibitive costs that you will have to pay upon the successful completion of your lawsuit. I, as an attorney, never sign for these, nor do I encourage my clients to go out and get pre-settlement funding. But inevitably, over the last several years, some clients have. And when the case has resolved, the clients see a, a, a picture that is not very pretty. The interest rates are exorbitant. The interest rate, uh, every month, they go up. I'm reminded of what Ben Franklin said on compounding interest, and it applies here. Money makes money. Well, being indebted on money means you'll be even more indebted on money. And this whole notion of compounding, which means the longer you hold on to money, the more interest you'll get because there'll be interest on the interest, applies here. And I haven't even spoken about the application fees or the processing fees. But the most important thing that you need to be alert for is that those interest rates will almost shock you. And you must know that before you engage in any such contract. Now, please keep in mind, I'm not talking about structured settlements. Those are a horse of a completely different color, and those come into play when a case resolves. If the client chooses not to have the money in one payment, in one lump sum, but instead chooses to have a payout over time. That concept of structured settlements is a very different proposition than pre-settlement funding, often referred to as lawsuit funding and you want your attorney to have your interests at heart. And what I say to the client who may be in need of money is please, by all means, seek to borrow money from another source, a friend, a family member, or anywhere where you will not have to incur such draconian interest rates. Thank you.